Free back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Out towards right center field. Duvall makes his way towards it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Up Here's George Springer. He's 0 for the 1. Fielder, George Springer. And the pitch. Strike. Foul ball there. And he deals. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Next offering is fouled back. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. In the air, right field. Rosario pulls that one down. And a couple of quick outs. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center. We head to the bottom of the second. And here is Marcelo Zuna. No left fielder. The wind of the pitch. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. And the 2 Right through there. Got him. And there's one down. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Here's Austin Riley. First offering misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. The one two. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. And he hits a ground ball right side. And it's through for a hit. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of that. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And first offering is fouled off. Riley leads off first with one away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. Dansby Swanson stands in. The pitch. Not shortstop. And there's a strike. Swanson. That's the third. They take the force out, and that is the inning. One left for Atlanta. They trail it here, 2-0. Back at guaranteed rate field. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ripped to short. Swanson loves it. Throw on to Olsen. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Foul ball. That one ripped. 
Can't get there. Should be extra bases. The throw is wild and it gets away. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. Yeah, He's jogging right. around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Here's Guriel. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan Third to be base. aggressive. There was nothing Matt. cheap about the way yeah. he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. So one out with two aboard. Now Matt Chapman at the plate, and he's already singled in this game. And a pitch. Chapman gets a piece there. Run it down. One run across. Runner holds it third, so just one across on the play. It's not often now someone bad. hits a baseball this hard. Alejandro it's worthy of the stat cast treatment, singing. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be, and wow, 116 miles per hour. Stat cast absolutely lives for these moments you know it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly and first offering is fouled off swing and a ball hammered left field and that's going to be a double and it'll score two pulls into second that's an rbi double Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. The as soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra base. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Santiago Espinal will hit next. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. One run is in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Sean Newcomb gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Danny Jansen to hit here, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Newcomb. He's known at least in part for his changeup, and it's not just about changing speeds. He gets some serious movement. Ripped into left center, base hit. The run scores from third. It's six nothing. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got oh. something he could handle. Big just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> And that movement is, I mean, really what makes the difference because a hitter can know that the changeup is coming and try to time up his rhythm to connect. But when it has that. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. getting ready to hit Vladimir one for two. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. And he's in full speed. Fall off foul. Espinal, the runner at third. Jansen at second. Springer at first. Two out of the inning. Base hit. One run is in. Ball comes in. Runner stops at third. Base is still loaded with two out. So digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. 
With the bases juiced, he refused to get Paul happy. He stayed within himself, drove the ball to center field. That'll get across a run. Rosario makes the catch, and that'll do it. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Blue Jays seven, and the Braves nothing. The Braves. The designated and hitter. here it comes. Orlando. Orlando Arcia stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. This one in the air right field. And a quick out number one. Batting and now it's Travis Darno with the play. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. And now the lefty in the air to left center. Guriel handles the chance, and there are two down. Here's now Eddie Rosario. Right and a pitch. Rosario. And that's in for a strike. And a strike in there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. And the Braves go down quietly. They continue to trail 7 0. Here on the south side, as we go to the top Leading of the fourth, the here's season. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Newcomb back to Lourdes. work. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And he makes the catch. One up, one down. Matt now Chapman that. up to the plate Third now. Season. Singh, you talk about Matt. a guy that has all yeah. the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And Nuka fires. Out to short. Gets it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now back. And next for Definitely Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. The pitch. Kirk. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field. Pretty well struck. That one is gone. He'll touch them all, and they add to their lead. It's 8 nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers now that battle. fastball out of Second here. Base. Stepping Santiago. in, Santiago Espino. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now an 8 nothing game. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Ozzie Albies. Switch hitter batting baseman. from the right side here. Ozzie. It's so impressive Albies. over the course of his career how he's been able to become a force on both sides of the plate. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Stays alive. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him. And there's one down. Here is Matt Olson. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. And it's 0 1. 
Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second the time leader, today. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Marcelo Zuna. In there, and it's 0-1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And that ends the inning. Go the Braves. Still 8 nothing. Back here on the Leading south side, the we go to the top of the, the fifth. Catcher, Here's the catcher, nine. Danny Jansen. Danny. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ozuna makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one it's back, no doubt. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. But why to kick the pitch? In the air, right side, a little bloop single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit. Right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Bichette stands in now, looks at that one inside. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Don't let him score! And a pitch. Hit hard, base hit. He's safe. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Love yeah, how he let that ball travel, right trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. 1-0. and oh. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for some Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 12-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see.